Hi guys, I'm here with Margaret and we're gonna do a video on how to adjust your car seat so you can travel uh, with more comfort and get less pain when you are uh, out on the road. Hi guys, Chris Sovey back with another episode here of Working Body Wednesdays and we're here with Margaret and we're gonna talk about adjusting uh, the seat of your car and talk about how you can make that a little more comfortable. This is Working Body Wednesdays episode where we talk about posture, functional movement and hardening your body so it's better able to handle the demands of daily life. So I'm gonna have Margaret here just, just for demonstration purposes. Let, Margaret, let's have you sit right here on the corner facing out that way there. And I just wanna talk real briefly and then we're gonna hop in the car here in just a second about the position of most car seats. Now because most of them are a bucket seat, what happens is it drops your pelvis back and you end up in this kind of position. And over a period of sitting for several hours, that creates a lot of strain in the lower back. Go ahead and come back up to a nice tall posture there. So the position of the pelvis largely determines how you're gonna feel as you get in and out of the car. Now one of the things I can tell you right off the bat is make sure you get up as much as you can um, to try to uh, relieve some of that stress on your back. We can't change a lot of the car seat. What we can do is we can use some props to make a little bit of a difference. I need to say that with a caveat though because the reason that these car seats are designed the way that they are is actually to reduce an injury from an accident. So just be, just be aware that if you modify your seat in any way, shape, or form, you can sometimes run into problems with your insurance if you're in an accident. Obviously, the chances of your back degenerating over a long period of time are higher than being in an accident in most cases. But what we can do is we can use a couple props. This is called a move and sit. This is just an inflatable wedge. You can find things like this on Amazon. Now, what it does, go ahead and stand up for just a moment and then come back down. What it does is it tips your pelvis forward a little bit. Yeah, now, on this, it's a little excessive, wouldn't you say? I yeah. mean, but yeah. we're already in a good posture. But if you start in a backwards position, it's gonna put you more in a neutral position. So another option is to use a towel roll, which we'll use here in a second as well. You can go ahead and you can fold it or roll it up. And what you can do in the car seat, we'll demonstrate this as well, go ahead and come up there. You can hook this right under your sits bones, so you sit right on the edge of it, so it has a similar effect. You're kind of similar to the. Yeah. So that you know, that's not that's not necessarily something that uh, you have to buy something like this. This would be like the back of your seat right here. So, in terms of adjusting the seat itself, we want to make sure that we can get it as far forward as we can. Now, most car seats will only go to neutral. So that's where something like this comes in. Let's go ahead and come around here to Margaret's car. We'll bring the camera around here. And then I'm gonna have her go ahead and just sit in her car there for a moment. Let's kind of take a, take a look. Sarah, if you wanna come around here, we could come right to the, perfect. <laughs> So you can kind of see that effect of the bucket seat, how it slopes her down. Her, she's got, Margaret's got long legs and her knees end up so much higher than her hips. Now, unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do about that in terms of the design of the seat. We can try to, does this one come down at all? Uh, I don't think it does. See, hers doesn't even have a tilt feature on there. Some of, them, some of them do have a tilt feature where you can take the nose of the seat down a little bit so you don't end up so much in a backwards position, a slump position of the pelvis. And another thing I'll tell you, and again, you're dealing with insurance companies, so you do this at your own risk. You notice that the design of the, let's bring that camera around here a little bit so you can see the, the design of the headrest, they push you forward. So your own risk, but some, I will do this, sometimes I will turn my headrest around so it doesn't thrust my head forward as much. Now, if you're in an accident though, and you have a whiplash injury, that could be a big deal. So that's why they, they do that. But it does push your head forward, and then you're like this. So it's like the worst position you can possibly be in. So let's see what this does if we put a pad underneath here. We'll put this, we'll go ahead and we'll put that right underneath there, and we'll take a seat. So that's the move and sit. 
It's going to feel different. And if you want, you can even... She's so tall, <laughs> she's hitting the road. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, you know, you could always put a little lumbar support back here too, but you want to make sure that you... Uh, you want to make sure that you correct the pelvis first. So we've corrected the pelvis. I might even bring the back of your seat forward just to so this one here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now that we've corrected the pelvis, are you touching the roof? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we've created a new problem. <laughs> She's so tall. <laughs> but that's the general idea that we want to correct the, the pelvis. It's kind of funny that you're in this little Prius. <laughs> environmentally friendly but maybe not proportionally quite right so you know the same similar effects let's come out of there one more time Margaret same similar effects if you have a towel roll so I could scoot this all the way back up now this won't be as drastic as the pad but her butt bones are going to still kind of hook that back of the seat there mm -hmm. And it's not as drastic, but it still gives yeah. you a little bit more correction than when we started. Yeah. So I wish I could say that there were more genius things to do than that. I'm not aware of anything that you do. You can make these small modifications and hopefully it will help you with the position of your car and the way that you sit. So try and get out once an hour if you can, or at least once every two hours if you're doing any long travel or anything like that. And your back will thank you for it. Well, this has been another episode of Working Body Wednesdays. These kind of videos are posted every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to check back next Wednesday. Thanks so much, Margaret. For, she's going to take off now. <laughs> you want to keep the towel in? <laughs> <laughs> you can have you can, a bag. <laughs> <laughs> have a, so have a great day, guys. <laughs>